Welcome. I look really small today because my bed is really tall. <laughs> Today we are here to talk about my February reads. Um, I read four books this month. Hold on. Um, the first book I read this month was Neon Gods. Uh, it was a smutty romance book. It's a Hades and Persephone retelling. I think I gave this three stars on Goodreads. Um, I mean, I knew I wanted to read Hades and Persephone retellings, and I searched around for like one that seemed like it would be better. And it was still pretty cheesy, but I did like it. The smut was super hot and it was just a nice fun little romance book and it's actually the first smutty romance book that I ever sought out to read because before this all my smut consumption has just been through tumblr so <laughs> it wasn't super great writing as I expected for these types of romance books um, which is very unfortunate because it's as if they don't try to put effort in the writing like okay yes we want smut but we also want well written stories so maybe I'm just gonna have to write that myself one day and the second book I read this month was Bunny by Mona Awad. Um, I found this on Goodreads while I was looking at some other books. Um, and it's a dark academia horror mean girls slash Heather slash Frankenstein book. Yeah, it's very bizarre. I am planning to write a book review blog post on it and I haven't done a book review blog post since I started my blog because I kind of forgot that I kind of started my blog with that direction. Um, so yeah. Um... How do I explain it? The setting is an MFA program, highly selective. They are doing written arts. Is that what it's called? They're just writing, writers, you know? So, and then there's this clique of mean girls who all are crazy and call each other a bunny and they act, they're like, mid-twenties women but they act like little girls because they're like oh my god bunny i love you bunny it's really weird and the main character samantha um doesn't like them but she always felt like drawn to them because she wants to be included um, because of stuff that happened in her childhood and all this trauma of always feeling like an outsider. So one day they invite her to this thing called a smut salon and they keep doing that and stuff happens that has to do with bunnies uh, and all the horror ensues like a cult-like thing. It's like the secret history, but like um, hyper feminine, but also uh, way more gruesome. The third book I read this month was 
A Discovery of Witches, which is a trilogy fantasy series by Deborah Harkness. And I kind of jumped into this series not knowing what to expect. Um, I actually saw one of my acquaintances reading it a year ago, so I added to my TBR on Goodreads. And I remember I did read the excerpt a year ago, and then this year I just wanted to read something witchy and fantastical. So I kind of just chose it and jumped into it. And in the beginning, I actually, like, was really hating this book. I was criticizing it, criticizing every word. Um, but then I ended up actually really enjoying it and enjoying being immersed in the world of witches and demons and vampires and a lot of history and science to the point of like DNA which I never read about before in any fantasy series and that was really cool and I found out it's because the author was she has a PhD in history and science and witchcraft and the occult and she's also a professor, like, oh, she's a scholarly woman, um, so cool, so she, com she combined all that knowledge into her novel, which is really cool, and she can definitely, she's good at storytelling, but why I didn't like it in the beginning was because, as with any type of fantasy series, it always starts a bit slow because it's establishing the world. And I just found that it was a bit task-oriented and repetitive. And also, I didn't know there was going to be a romance in this book. Like, I read this book for the witchy stuff. I didn't know it was going to be a witch and vampire forbidden romance. And I... At first, I wasn't into it because I felt like the chemistry, I didn't, I did not feel the chemistry at all. And I felt like it was kind of forced and happened so fast and I just did not like it. And I also don't really like the vampire that much. I'm not really into vampire romances. Um, but the story is really well written. I like all the complicated history and stuff like that. And I just wanted to be immersed in a fantasy world. And I got what I asked for. So. Yeah. I didn't really explain what the book is about. But if you are intrigued by what I said, you can go on Goodreads and... Determine whether you want to read it <laughs> um, So then after that I started the next book in the trilogy um, Because I missed the world when I finished the book so I Started reading the other book and I'm not done with it yet. So I'll be talking about that in my March reads But then I read girls against God um, Girls against God was by Jenny Haval. Um, I read her other novel called Paradise Rot last month, and I think I like Paradise Rot better. But Girls Against God is a experimentalist fiction novel, so it was really weird. There was a lot of stuff about witchcraft and, um very feminist and anti-patriarchal stuff it's a very in your face book like i don't know how to explain it but i just felt like that it was a really straightforward i mean it began with the sentence i hate god like oh what a way to start the book and there were okay i'm very conflicted about this book i give i gave it three stars but i kept going back and forth between liking the book and being really bored by the book 
and the stuff I liked I really did like like I would have given it four stars if the whole book was like that but there were parts that bored me mm, but I really like the witchcraft stuff and the sexual stuff the last book I read I technically finished it this morning in bed um, but I'm just gonna count it as a February read because it was another Hades and Persephone smutty retelling because, you know, it was February and it's winter and I love Hades and Persephone. I'm also gonna give this book three stars and I enjoyed it and there were parts I didn't like. I think the smut in Neon Gods was more well written, um... But it was still sexy, like, I love the sexual tension, and some of the parts of the writing was actually really beautiful, but I feel like uh, I'm pretty sure this book was self-published and it was not edited because there were many errors in the book, like grammatical and spelling ones. Um, but other than that, there were some really beautiful parts in the book and the ending actually made me cry. Um, and it's actually, it's set in modern day, but there is the realm of the underworld and the gods and stuff. For Neon Gods, it was more like a mob kind of premise. Um... But yeah, I didn't like it. I mean, it was just a smutty romance, so what was I expecting? But still, I am one day going to write a smutty romance book that is going to be well written. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm manifesting it right now. But the smutty parts, it was hot. The sexual tension was there. Uh, I just, I just don't like some of the words that the author used, like, speared. Like, dude, this is supposed to be sexy, it's not supposed to sound painful. So sometimes I did laugh when I was reading the sweaty words because of the word choice. Um, but I guess that's just a personal thing. So I did like the smut in uh, Neon Gods better. But it was still a really nice read. And those are all of my February reads. Um, that was really short. Um, good thing construction didn't start. I got it over with. So thank you for watching this video. And hopefully you got some good recommendations. I think that my favorite book this month was bunny so check that out if you like weird and sexual books <laughs> and comment if you have a recommendation for me uh based on my books that i read or just a video recommendation or just whatever all comments are welcome um so yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you soon.